Hello and welcome back to Crash Bandit Wrath of Cortex with me, Matthew Caddis, aka Poogie. So, um, we are going to go to another plane stage, sort of. Uh, yeah, I think the, um, the levels are pretty much cut and paste. And yes, um, each of the elementals just shows up for a few seconds. Serious, at least I can give um, some of the characters in um, Crash 3 this, they did appear a bit more. Anyway, it looks like we are flying on the back of a giant mechanical dragonfly or something. So yeah, this is slightly different in that we have to actually home in on the various um, um, planes and, every and, well, battleships and not planes. So yeah, so it takes a while to take them down. This one actually, like with the previous one, Tornado Alley, actually does actually work pretty well. Um, the only problem I have with it is that the ships can also launch attacks at you, such as those giant um, missiles. So yeah, you can still go for the um, 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 healing um, medical balloons, just like in uh, Tornado Alley and indeed in Crash 3, so yeah. The controls are honestly pretty good in this one. Yeah, I don't see any slowdown, unlike with uh, regular stages, regular platforming stages, that is. But we are about to um, see a level where, um, well, it's not very good, seriously. So, yeah. Um, I can't think of anything else, really, but yeah. Um, I did mention in the previous episode we were going to underwater levels. And indeed, um, Wrath of Cortex does have underwater levels. This one's a little... Well, it's going back to this level. Uh, this one is a little harder because of that. Yeah, seriously. Because uh, you have to hold the A button in order to actually lock onto each of the ships. Unlike with the flight levels in Crash 3 and also Tornado Alley in this game, um, because in those levels you were given a machine gun on your plane, of course. So you could actually um, hold down the A button and easily launch a missile. If anything, it's a similar sort of gameplay that will later be used, I think, in the likes of um, Ratchet and Clank. So, yeah. But uh, that being said, we have got it. That was a fairly short stage. Yeah, the next one, not so much. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, so, let's indeed get our crystal. And let's see where next to H2O, no. Or uh, C Cell Shenanigans. Both of which are um, underwater levels. In fact, um, both H2O, no, and C Cell Shenanigans do have similar startups because they are both underwater. And this, in my opinion, is where Crash um, Bandicoot the Wrath of Cortex really fails here. Crash just moves really slowly. And there are also obstacles that, while you could avoid them in Crash 3, not so much here because they will um, certainly get in your way. Those mines, those come out from nowhere. Seriously, they do. Or at least they feel like they do. Obviously, looking at my gameplay here, it doesn't look like that um, I did it. But, but yeah, sometimes you cannot see them from above. I don't know why that is. You could do originally on Crash 3 um, with the various mines floating about. In fact, the mines were floating about, so that's another thing. So, yeah. And these jellyfish... Seriously, um, they only go in one direction and we have to be careful. Crash is just so damn slow that he just gets electrocuted ad nauseum on the um, jellyfish alone, seriously. I don't think I was really close to them there, but apparently, yeah, I got it. And um, H2O, oh no, well, definitely oh no, that level is also an underwater level. And the first, like, I think, quarter of the level is pretty much a, um, a slog through a, um, an underwater thing similar to uh, Seashell Shenanigans, and I can't say it properly. Ah, uh, well, I'll see you in a moment. Well, let's have a look at H2O No, because 
This is another sort of mashup. It starts off like an underwater level with the uh, giant um, uh, submersible. Although uh, this one controls slightly differently, this one moves slower. It also doesn't have the charge option. It can launch missiles, but sometimes the missiles don't go very far compared to in Crash 3. At least in this level, you can actually see where the mines are, unlike with um, the other ones, so yeah. <clears throat> so that isn't going to be a problem. But yeah, this is a mashup of the of two levels. And you see there? You saw that red mine come down. Yeah, that, that, that is just nearly tucked into the to the ceiling there. If I hadn't stopped there, I, I, I swear that I would have actually um, uh, run into it. That's how badly they're hidden. And even though you're seeing this on YouTube, this is pretty much... Um, if you're playing this on, um, well, any TV, um, I don't know about a HD TV, never mind, uh, because this game's um, standard definition hasn't been remastered or anything like that, so... Um, yeah. Um, and oh, also there are no Aku Aku masks here. So yeah, um, the Cortex minions are here too, apparently. Uh, they were not up in the original uh, thing, so maybe that's interesting, I guess. Um, but um, this level, H2 or no, is kind of divided into two different sections. One is the, of course, the underwater section with the submersible, unlike in, um, as you saw earlier when I died there in Crash 3, um, you cannot um, just um, get out of it and start swimming, apparently, because, um, yeah, screw those stupid mines, seriously. They are the bane of my existence in both of these underwater levels. Seriously. So let's see, how far am I to the end? I don't know. It also, it also the look of these levels, seriously, I do not like them. Seriously, I think, I thought the, um, even in the original, um, um, Crash Bandicoot, um, Warp? Well, no, it wasn't Warp. Yes, it was. Crash 3, Grand Duke 3, Warped. Um, looked better on the PS1, underwater at least, compared to this. So, yeah. But, anyway, that being said, uh, yeah, um, let's go this way. Because down here, um, we are now, apparently now, in a sewer level. Yes, because we went from an underwater level into a sewer level. Uh, the difference is, unlike with the sewer levels in Crash 2, the, um, these levels are really, uh, the water is always electrified, so it is very hard to get across there, so, yeah, very annoying. So, let's place Crash, I, I honestly don't know where to put Crash anyway because of that, so, yeah. Um, as you can see, electrified, so, not great. So, um, I I appreciate there were tr uh, Traveler's Tales were trying, but I like with um, what um, um, some call me Johnny's review said. I think they were trying to put things together to see what would stick. I really wish they had gone with Crash World if you ask me, because that would have worked, I think, a little better, and would, might have well have been the next logical step in the in the Crash Bandicoot series. Seriously. As it is, we get a half-baked game with um, really annoying things. And no, I don't think you get pity masks in um, Wrath of Cortex either. Unlike it. Okay. Yes, you do! Never mind. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that Aku Aku mask is from the uh, changing box, isn't it? Never mind! So, yeah. Well, at least it'll serve well as another hit. I don't know about that um, hydrant to the right of the. Um, Electrified pool, but there you go. So, yeah, I suck at this. So, I am not going to try and get all the boxes. Certainly, not the ones in the water, anyways. So yeah. And let's spin you. Now it's starting to look a bit like uh, Roost Tubes from uh, Crash Team Racing. Yeah, seriously. I wonder if they intended to originally put. Um, Reaperu in this skate, I don't know. I don't know how it would work anyway with the elementals. To be honest. 
so yeah. So let's jump over here and quickly, if there's anything I will do, it is bounce off the box and uh, return to the thing there, so yeah. And um, then we can spin that. And then what? Get that. And die! Yeah! Definitely die. Oh well, I hit a checkpoint, so that's not too bad. Uh, and there are double of these um, thing. Also, yes, Crash's death is from um, the original Crash one. Apparently, um, uh, Traveler's Tale decided to use that animation, um, along with Crash's classic Whoa! sound effects. The one that Crash's original voice actor and also engines and I guess uh, Doctor Neo Cortex's voice actor. Um, um, Brendan O'Brien um, did back in Crash. Uh, also, MBO's definitely MBO's voice actor. Uh, Brendan O'Brien did back in Crash One, so yeah. So his war is still here. Um, as I say, it won't be in Crash for insanity. Crash is mute again. Given that most of the things Crash says is mo just mostly gibberish in the. Games, with the exception of maybe that aforementioned um, ad for um, Crash 2. Seriously, that was a weird one where he actually spoke with an Australian accent. Along with in um, Skylanders Academy, where he actually, which is a Netflix series, where he actually did also speak with an Australian accent. And also, in one of the endings, I think it's the true ending actually, for. Um, for it's about time, he actually speaks with kind of this deep kind of soulful accent, that sort of thing. Uh, because uh, he, he, Crash actually narrates it. Because Crash doesn't normally speak in game, as we've seen from the very. He's mostly a. I can't say a silent protagonist because he does make some kind of vocal things in 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 some of the offshoot games. As we can see, so yeah, but um, other than that, yeah, I'm sorry I'm going off tangent on this level, there's just so little I can talk about here, but let's see the bonus stage at least, so yeah, and well, more nitros, oh boy, and this is going to get some getting over, seriously. And that requires me to learn how to bounce off of boxes. Which I could do in the Naughty Dog games and in Ensign Trilogy. Um, given that I recorded this game after I finished recording Crash 3 in um, Ensign Trilogy. So, I don't know, man. Should I go for that box? Yeah, I will. And then bounce upwards. Then bounce off the boxes. And there we go. Oh, and if there's anything else, the chain reactions with the TNTs are also slower. Again, this is a minor complaint really with that one. Um, I still could have done it, but as I say, at least I can say this crash does move quicker than Coco. Something that they did fix with the um, thing. Although I did say in my... It was my Crash 3 Let's Play uh, that uh, Cobra was slower than Crash still. Not as slow as in this game, but never mind that. Uh, so we have a bunch of Nitros here. This is where the sneaky move will come in put into play. Because we don't have it yet, so we cannot get all those boxes. Yes, we actually have to get a super move to finish a, a level that is before we fight the boss that gives us that ability. Yeah! Seriously! We didn't do that in the other games! Seriously, we, in those games all we had to do was get an ability to um, and master it to get across a, I think a large gap with such as with the um, let me think, the the Death Tornado Spin, that's it, in uh, one of the future levels. I think it was um, Future Frenzy, but it could have been Gone Tomorrow, I'm not sure. Well, there are many of those sort of things in the game, but the game gave you hints there. This game does not, and that does mean you have to get the sneaky sneak move, which you get from a later boss, one of the other elementals, which I did not do, because um, obviously I 
cannot beat the second warp room boss. Um, which is very annoying. Um, so I cannot do the bonus stage. So where does this take me? Does it take me back to the thing? And there's something weird about seeing those um, fish flopping about. Seriously. No, and I can't get all the boxes anyway, so get that one. And the crystals at the other end, after a bunch of nitros and a cortex minion. Honestly, um, um, not as great as the one that used the flamethrower in the in the aforementioned uh, Crash 2 uh, levels. At least I'll say this, they did get the um, uh, fruit boxes, or the bounce boxes right, with each of them giving us uh, 10 uh, Wumpa fruit each. What was it? No, it was uh, three Wumpa fruit each to make. Actually, got two Wumpa fruit instead of one, like it was in Crash, the original version of Crash. So, yeah. And at the very end, we have to deal with these lasers. Not too hard to avoid, but there you go. So, yeah, I might do She Shell Shenanigans a little later, I don't know, but I'll see you later. Goodbye!